how's it going? So today I'm going to be showing you hair, makeup, and outfit for a plane along with all of my carry-on essentials. If you didn't know, I live in LA, but I'm originally from New Jersey, and so I'm going to be going home for two months of the summer to visit my family and friends and see everybody. So I am getting geared up to do that right now, and I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you what I like to bring with me on the plane and how I like to look. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay guys, let's kick it off with the makeup. Now, a moment of honesty, I'm not really going to wear makeup when I go on a plane, but if you're flying somewhere where you're going to be seeing a loved one as soon as you get off the plane or you just wanna look nice when you're on there, definitely go ahead and try something like what I'm going to show you. So, I'm starting off by moisturizing my face just because flying tends to really dry me out, so I think that this is a really essential step. And then I'm going to go in with my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I'm going to apply it using my fingers because it'll give me a little bit of lighter coverage. I think if you're going to wear some sort of face stuff on the plane, you might as well go with whatever you feel most comfortable in that you think will be long lasting, depending on how long your flight is and etc. Just find something that is going to feel really comfortable on your skin and is going to give you the right amount of coverage that you want for flying. As for under eye concealing, I'm just going to go about my normal routine. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Concealer and I'm just going to run that in my inner corner and along my dark circles. Okay, for the eyes, we're going to stick with a cream product. This is a color tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over my eyelid. I'm not doing um, too dark or too light, sort of right in between. You can apply whatever you want, but I think cream shadows are the way to go if you're traveling on a plane, because cream tends to really stick and be a little bit more long lasting. For eyeliner, I'm going to go ahead in with my Flower Liquid Liner Pen and create a very thin line with a tiny little wing coming off of it. If you guys didn't know, I have a tutorial about how I do winged eyeliner on my channel and I will be sure to go ahead and annotate it on the screen right now. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to be using my two favorites right now and I'm just going to apply one on top of the other for maximum lash power. time to set our face. I like to do this with powder after I do my eye makeup. That way I make sure that the foundation really sets into my skin before I apply something on top of it. And I mostly just apply this to my T-zone where I tend to get a little bit oily. And I like to dab it on that way I'm not pulling any of the product off of my face. Now once again we're going to be sticking with cream products. This is technically a tint but whatever. It's sort of a cream. And so I'm just going to be applying this on my cheeks to give me a nice little flush. Now as for my lips, I'm going to start off with my EOS to prep it and then I'm going to go in with that same tint that I used on my cheeks and I'm going to apply a few coats of that onto my lips. I like to do a few coats to get the maximum color from it and also just to make sure that it really stains my lips very well. Now I'm going to be going in with another cream product and this one is for highlighting and I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit. I'm not going to go overboard but I'm going to do it along the tops of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose and along my cupid's bow. And that is it for the makeup tutorial. Okay, for my hair, I like to stick with something really simple because I'm flying, I don't need anything special. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my hair down from the clip and then I'm going to sort of get rid of my part to do that however you do it. I just sort of move my hair around. <laughs> and then I'm going to start to pull it up into a high ponytail and I'm going to be using this elastic to tie it off. I like this one because it doesn't leave any sort of ridges in your hair. That's why I really like these sort of um, uh, bands that I'm using to put in my hair right now. This is simple, easy, and something that you can like very easily touch up as soon as you get off the plane to make it look really nice again. 
And here is the outfit that I like to wear on the plane. It obviously depends on where you're going, how you're going to dress. But since I am flying to New Jersey and it's going to be a little bit chillier, I want to dress more on the warm side. Um, not super warm, but um, just something that is comfortable and something that will be appropriate for when I get off the plane. I landed at like 7.40 in the morning, so it was pretty cold when I got off the plane. So I just went with a little tank top, a pair of leggings, and a cardigan with a pair of boots and leg warmers. This is one of my favorite travel accessories. I like to do this in general, but I really like it for traveling because you can set one watch to the time zone you're in and one watch to the time zone you're going to. That way you can keep an eye on both times at the same time. Okay, carry-on essentials. Here's a quick look at all of the stuff that I like to put in my carry-on, and then I'm going to show you my carry-on and how I like to organize it. Now, I know this is not the cutest bag in the world, but for me, it's all about practicality over cuteness, and this can hold so much stuff that it's totally worth it. So, I'm going to start off by just sticking my thermos on the one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to stick my wallet inside this little zipper, and I would also put my boarding pass in there, that way I have easy access to it. I'm also going to put my phone and my sunglasses into the other side uh, little pocket over there. In this front pocket, I'm putting hand sanitizer, my vlogging camera, my gum, and my iPod and headphones. All of that stuff is stuff that I'm going to need to reach for on a pretty regular basis, which is why I like to put it in that small front pocket. I like this middle pocket because it has this little netted piece there, so I'm sticking my nook inside of there, and then for the rest of this pocket, I'm going to put all of my chargers and batteries and things like that. Basically, this middle pocket is all for electronics. Now this back pocket has two smaller pockets here, so in the first of the smaller pockets, the bigger of the smaller pockets, I'm going to put my journal where I write down ideas for videos and stuff like that, and then in the next I'm going to be putting my book, which is Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. It also has a little laptop uh, place also that's nice and padded and protective, so I'm just going to stick my laptop in there. And then next I'm just going to throw in a makeup bag. And here is the makeup bag that I'm using. I love this one, I think it's so cute and fun. So what I like to put in there is some powder, my EOS lip balm, uh, some concealer just in case I need to do any touch-ups. I also like to put a lip product in there. That one is really moisturizing, which I really like. Also a hairband with some bobby pins attached to it, just in case I need that. And I'm also going to put my comb in there, just in case I need to comb my hair while I'm on the plane. And lastly, I'm just going to stick a little hair clip in there. And then I'm going to zip that up, and now my carry-on is ready to go. For this video if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to leave a comment down below thank you all so much for watching i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video bye